Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, how to break singleton design pattern using reflection in Java programming. So in Java programming, we have a design pattern known as singleton design pattern. Using this singleton design pattern, we can create a singleton class for which only one object can be created that to inside the class. Outside the class, you cannot create any other instance or object for the class. Only one object you'll be able to create for the class that to within the class that is inside the class. Outside the class, you cannot create an object for that particular class because this kind of design pattern is possible by making the constructor inside that class as private. The moment you make the constructor inside a particular class as private for that particular class only within the class you can create object outside the class you cannot ask uh, you cannot create an instance or object of the class that's what is singleton design pattern but we can break it guys okay still we can create another object for this singleton class okay by breaking down this singleton design pattern using reflection pattern okay reflection thing. So how to do all this stuff? I am going to explain in a practical way. For that, I will launch Eclipse ID. In the Eclipse ID, I'm going to write some code. First, I'll implement the singleton pattern using which we will create singleton class for which only one object can be created that to inside the class. Outside the class, you cannot create the object because that is a singleton design pattern class. So let's launch the Eclipse ID first. So the Eclipse ID is launched and I'm going to create a new class under this particular package. Let's say I'll give the name as uh, reflection. Reflection. Demo. Reflection demo. And with main method I'll create. Increase the font size a bit. Fine. Okay, great. Now, here, otherwise I'll do one thing, guys. I'll not create uh, this as a class. I'll create a different class. Let's say, I'll just name this class as some sample class. Just name this class as some sample class. Sample. Demo or sample, simple sample, okay? Click on finish, sample class will be created. Now inside, I'll make this particular sample class as a singleton class. For singleton class, okay? For making a particular class as singleton class, you should not be providing any keyword here. Rather, you need to create a constructor for this particular class, okay? So what happens if you don't create uh, a private constructor for this class, normal construct, uh, normal thing if it is there and uh, you know, what happens, let's see that. So here I'll create a variable guys, int a is equal to file in uh, then public void sample method, public void sample method, system.out.println, system.out.println. Y S O U T full space. Okay. Here, when this particular method is called, I'll be typing, I'll be printing inside sample, side sample method. Okay. Like this, I'll write. Now, I'll create one more class. I'll just name this class as demo class. With main method, okay. So, if I want to create object for this sample class, there is no restriction, guys. It's a normal class containing normal variables and methods, so I can create any number of objects for this particular class. That is, sample, sample s one is equal to new sample okay and here 
I created one object. Now, what if I can create one more object? Let's see. Sample S two is equal to new sample. I created one more object. Like that, I can create any number of objects. But if I make this particular class, if I want to make this particular class as a singleton class, then this object creation outside this particular class should not be possible, and we should be only be able to create an object. Within the class sample uh, uh, sample s is equal to new sample like this you can create an object for this particular class okay and outside the class you should not be able to create an object okay this should not be possible for that to happen guys you have to create a constructor here for that to happen you have to create a constructor here that is private sample like this you create a constructor is uh, Private sample is a constructor you have to create. Okay, the moment you create a private uh, constructor here, right? You see, you are not able, you will not be able to create object outside the this particular singleton class. This class becomes a singleton class, and you will not be able to create objects outside the class. For generally, for singleton class, only one object will be. We generally we will be creating only one object that to inside the class. Outside the class, if you try to create the object, right, you, should not, you will not be able to create an object because of this private constructor. Because the constructor is uh, private, okay, and uh, you, the constructor calling statement will give you an uh, error. For example, here, new sample. Like this, if you try to create an object here, the constructor calling statement cannot be called because it is a private constructor, so it cannot be accessed outside the class. That's how we make this particular class as singleton class as part of the singleton design pattern. Then still, if I want to get this particular object. That is created inside this particular class, outside the class. Then what I have to do is I have to create a method here, public, okay, uh, public. We'll generally say static here, void, click static void. The next thing here is click static void and uh, get object or something else. Let's write down here. And here, return type I'll mention it as sample class. Sample, and uh, I'll return this and this object. Return. Okay, I have to simply say return. Okay, what if I don't provide static here? Let's write that. Okay, public return type is sample. Return, return I'll say yes. Return yes, which is object. Okay, object. Only one object, okay. Singleton. The name singleton came because only one object is there. Return is now. If I want to get this particular object outside the class, I need to call this method. How to call this method? To call this method, I need to create an object. But can I create an object here? You see here. Can I create an object here? Sample. Sample. S one is equal to new sample. Sample S one is equal to new sample. Like this, if I try to create an object, you see, I'm not able to create an object using the object reference only. I need to call this method to get the object. But outside the class, I cannot create the object. Then, how come you will be able to get the object of this particular class, singleton class, outside the class? For that only reason, guys, we have to make this particular method as static. If it is static, right? Here, whatever the variable or object reference you are accessing here of this particular class should also be static. Then only the error will be gone. Okay. Then now. How to access the object of this particular singleton class? Further, guys, I need to use the name of the class sample dot. I can call this get object method because it's static method, right? I can call with the help of the class name. What is semicolon here? Get object will return you the okay. Get object will return you the object of the sample class that is sample. So one is equal to I'll say. Now using this object reference, I can call. System dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot control swiss control swiss okay and here I'll say s one dot a and here I'll say s one dot sample method you see I'm I'm able to access the variables and methods of this particular class using the object reference but how did I get the object reference I cannot create object outside the class so I will make this particular method as static, and you know, access it outside the class. The the same object that is created inside the class, singleton class, I accesses it like this. Now, 
if i run this code it will work fine this called is a singleton design pattern guys this this called a singleton design pattern you see five inside sample method got printed now what if i want to create objects for the singleton class despite of you cannot create objects outside the class is there any way to break the singleton design pattern yes definitely guys there is a way for breaking this singleton design pattern that is okay first you need to get the constructor of the singleton class guys okay i am not going to create an object outside the class like this okay uh, i am not going to get the object uh, this particular object i don't want to get i freshly want to create an object for this particular class outside the class for that to happen first i need to get the constructor of the singleton class the name of the singleton class is what sample 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 dot class dot this is a method guys get see here get declared constructor okay sample dot class dot get declared constructor okay get declared constructor so you have to write this code guys okay Sam a single uh, singleton class that is sample in our case dot class dot get declared constructor they have to pass anything put a semicolon here for the most add throws declare i'll ignore the exception for a while over the most it is returning you the constructor guys okay i'll simply write down here constructor that is equal to over the most on this uh, i'll drag it left side so that you can see the code over the most create local variable sample dot class dot get declared constructor like this i have to write okay once i get this particular constructor guys once i get this particular constructor of the singleton class i have to simply use the object reference of that uh, you know, constructor dot we have uh, we have to make the private constructor accessible okay it is a private constructor but i have to enable it okay to become make it uh, non private okay we can do this like constructor dot constructor dot set accessible is equal to true constructor dot set accessible is equal to true okay once that is done you simply say once you make that happen right uh, the next line is constructor dot new instance directly now you are going to create an object for this particular class okay for that constructor dot new constructor dot uh, new instance you have to write new instance okay with this particular method you will be able to so ignore the exception for a while okay with this particular constructor dot new instance you can create an object for this class and uh, you know the object for the sample class will be created you see the return type is coming that is s1 i'm creating an object guys by writing this three lines i'm able to create an object for this particular class guys okay if you're not able to see the code here i'll just reduce the font a bit now you can see right okay s1 for the mouse on this create local variable sample s1 you see you are able to create an object for this particular class even though it is a uh, what is this class guys singleton class but by following this reflection kind of code okay this this code is from reflection okay this this is from reflection using this reflection uh, code you can actually break this particular singleton design pattern okay by calling sample dot class dot get declared constructor okay and then getting the constructor here then setting the constructor to become you know accessible instead of being private then then once the constructor is we can you know uh, got accessible then you create you create an object with the help of new instance method okay the object got created now let's see whether we are able to access this uh, variables and methods of the class or not system dot order print here System dot out dot print ln s one dot a. You see, I'm able to access. Okay, despite of working with a singleton design pattern class, singleton class, I'm able to access the uh, things outside. Okay, here directly I can say s one dot s one dot uh, sample sample method I'll call and run the code here. Right click run as the obligation. You see, with the help of reflection, I'm able to break the singleton design pattern in Java program. Okay. So guys, you can take the screenshot of this particular code and practice this uh, 
reflection thing for breaking the single turn design pattern where uh, in single turn design pattern we'll create a single turn class for which you have to create an object within the class only only one object within the class but outside the class you cannot create any other objects okay only one class is possible within the class outside the class you cannot create an object in that case you can use reflection to break this particular single turn pattern and you can still create objects outside the class okay to so the single turn class you can create objects by by breaking it with the help of reflection this is the code belonging to the reflection guys this particular three lines of code belongs to the reflection so guys uh, this is how we have to break the single turn design pattern using reflection in in java in java guys okay so with theoretical explanation and practical demonstration i have uh, i have answered this question for you so that's all for this session thank you bye bye